Hey all, this is Martin from How to Make Mobile Games. Today is March the... Is it the 19th? I think it's the 20th. There you go, 20th today. So, um, I, this is the second time I'm trying to do this recording. God damn it. I, I was using the YouTube webcam thing um, and my internet connection just stopped. And oh, ah, fucking hate the internet connection here. It's just so annoying sometimes. Like, this is... This screen is like the bane of my existence. Like... Just, just disconnects. Uh, connecting China inside to China websites is fine, but connecting from China to overseas sites is just terrible. Uh, I have to use like a VPN proxy service, and it, it's not very fast, and it's always up and down. Ah, and those webcam recordings I did yesterday weren't like high quality, but anyway, whatever. So um, uh, this uh, today's video is something that's always been on my mind this past few months, and especially since the start of 2014. Uh, since I did my resolutions video uh, on what I want to achieve in this year. Uh, and one of the big things that, that always comes into my mind is how to how to spread risk or how to be your own ecosystem in mobile games. How to make it so that you don't rely on other people or businesses. Sorry, not other people, but how, if you don't rely on other businesses or other gateways in order to reach the customer. Now... Uh, let me elaborate a little bit and, and make the point perhaps a little bit clearer. So somebody, uh, uh, whoever it was, thank you so much. I can't remember your, your name, um, but you sent me an email saying, hey, did you hear of the Flappy Bird Forest game that got cancelled? And you said, you know, uh, like uh, we got a seven-day warning for our, like we had a flapping dragon game. It wasn't called Flappy Bird. Google gave us an email and they said, hey, you know, you guys need to change the name or whatever so that it doesn't look like Flappy Bird. So we did that and everything's fine, but some other developers just got their um, just got their game cancelled, and in fact, uh, this one here, they uh, they called their game Flappy Bird Forest, and their whole account got cancelled. And I'll just try and highlight some points here. So uh, they used they called the game Flappy Bird Forest. It had 100% unique graphics, but was basically the same gameplay. Uh, Ten hours later, they were locked out of their account. This is on Google Play. And uh, it was banned because of violation of their terms of service. Um, and it could have been because the name was called Flappy Bird Forest, which, yeah, I think it was. Um, so uh, I'm just going to try and find the other points here. Uh, the funny part is I've earned Google AdMob over seven figures worth of ad revenue. And so I don't know if this is the lifetime of them or, or if this is the, the um, you know, uh, whether this is like per year or whatever, but you know, obviously, like as a publisher, they've they've helped AdMob and they've helped Google Play, of course. You know, Google Play and the developer is like a partnership. You know, the work, but it should be like a partnership, but it, it really, it really isn't. It, it's not, it's not a partnership in my opinion. It's it's we're a content provider and they have the right to close, cancel, shut down anything that they choose. So um, anyway, sorry. They had a seven. They have a seven figures worth of ad revenue. A loyal user base who loved their apps. Every app had a four star over a four star rating, uh, and they didn't even call me before shutting down my whole business. Wow. Um, I've inspired a lot of people following their dream uh, in app development, and I hope you guys still do that. There's a lot of money to be made, but just to just let it be known that if your business relies on another business, you can get burned really bad for a simple honest mistake. Yes, you can, you can, you can, my God. Um, uh, we had, uh, like, I had my accounts banned, like, one account two years ago for using too many keywords on Google Play. Uh, and obviously, I understand why I've done that, so I'm very I'm, I'm very careful with my Google Play account. But I, I always feel like I'm, you know, on, on a knife edge uh, with Google Play. Uh, it also reminds me of this thing at YouTube that happened recently where YouTube started to do this content review system. Uh, or something like this, and basically people who were doing uh, video game Let's Play videos suddenly had like this red flag on their account saying, no, you can't use like this Let's Play to make revenue because it belongs to Nintendo. You know, for example, somebody's doing a Mario Let's Play, um, and then uh, Nintendo would, you know, flag that video and say, no, no, Mario is our IP, you can't make revenue off Mario through a Let's Play video. And so many people got burnt from that. So, so, so many. They All of a sudden, it was just, 
you know, their revenue was fine, they were doing great, and then just boom, game over, you know, just, like, it's so, so um, quick and so fragile, something like that can happen, you know, and the same in this guy here, you know, I feel real sorry for him, um, you know, he's, he's, he's had, like, a really good account going on, he's got a lot of players and, and he's doing good business, it could be a team, you know, it could be a few people, who knows, Um but all of a sudden, it's just game over without any phone call, without any message or communication or anything like this. And that's that's the problem with big companies is it's often like that because there's thousands and thousands of developers on Google Play. So how could they communicate with every one of them? You know, so I do get it. You know, smaller companies like, uh, you know, like I love Chartboost so much. Those guys are so awesome. Guys, get Chartboost in your games. I always I always rave about them. Um, but the, the cool thing is, and I wrote an email to Charboost was saying that, hey, you know, you guys have uh, direct communication. I can email a support person, you know, whoever it may be, and then they'll tell me, hey, Martin, your account is, you know, you need to change this or do that, or I can give them some feedback and we can have a talk before, you know, them just saying, you know, oh, no, you can't do this anymore. So, um, you know, sort of getting back to my point about, about, about this being cancelled and banning, the, what I wanted to say really in this video is, one, like, Spread your risk, guys. Please spread your risk. And I'm, I'm reiterating this to myself as well, is make sure you spread your risk. Don't just be relying on iPhone with a single account or a single revenue channel like uh, 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 like ads or, or uh, in-app purchases. Spread that out as much as possible. Maybe right now, you know, you're using Tapjoy, for example, and that only makes 5% of your revenue start to bring that up a little bit so even if it is making five percent can you survive on this five percent can you continue to grow your business um maybe you have like an extra account who belongs to your mom or you know your sister or something like this and you can upload some games on there as well uh, i don't think there's anything wrong with that at all you know it's just it's under your sister's name or a different business's name uh just spread that risk out guys because it's like with this this guy said on YouTube when they did that content uh, lock thing is it's called YouTube, but it's not your tube. It really isn't. It belongs to Google. It is their, their platform. There is nothing that you can do about it. And if they decide to change something, it's their choice. You can't do anything. You know what I mean? It's called a partnership, but it's, it's not really in a way. You know what I mean? A partnership is you talk about stuff you make decisions together and then you, you know, you finalize that decision. Uh, in the case of like this guy's account here, you know, he might have been a Google Play partner, but he's not. He's a content provider and it just said, no, you can't do this. And then they canceled his account. So, you know, my, my first, so the first point is, you know, spread your risk as much as possible. Get onto multiple app stores, get onto multiple platforms, you know, iOS, Windows, Android, whichever ones you can, make more games as well so that you're not just relying on a single game because a single game could just be cancelled. Um, and then possibly if you can apply for other accounts as well, that's good, and then you spread your risk that way. The second point that I want to make and what I'm always thinking about is new business models. I see so many times in games as well is that we're all like fighting to get this top position. You know, we're, we're, we're pumping out so many, so many more games or applications you know, in, in the effort to reach the top spot, you know, to, to, to climb up there. And we're sort of all clambering over each other. And, you know, I think sometimes we have to do something new. We don't have to reinvent the wheel, you know, doing games is great, of course. But we do have to think about new ways. And it's kind of like the way I was working with, uh, focusing on AdMob revenue before, and then I added Chartboost, and now Chartboost revenue is like double of AdMob. So, you know, thinking a little bit different, trying to do different things is very important. And you don't have to leave games or apps or, you know, oh, this business is wrong, you know. Of course not. No, I mean, you don't have to do something completely unique. You know, think, for example, like a restaurant. Uh, in England, we have like, uh, you know, uh, for example, like chip shops, uh, you know, like they sell fries. And, um, you know, you could say, oh, this game business is too hard. I should move on to do something else. Um you know, but people, uh, you can have many, many businesses in one area and it'll still thrive. Like chip shops in England, there's thousands and thousands of chip shops and they all survive. They're all okay. 
so you don't have to do something incredibly unique, um, but try to spread that risk out and try to do something that might be a little bit more lucrative. Uh, so I'm trying to figure out a way to to maybe sell directly to developers instead of to players because for if I sell something to a developer, I, there is a direct channel there. Do you know what I mean? I can I can email that person directly. We can communicate directly. So, for example, recently last month, I sent I, I sold some source code for my Accelerate X um, uh, game, Accelerate X six. Sorry. And now I only sold uh, four source codes, but that made four hundred dollars. Um, and I, I, you know, I give them support when they need it, and I didn't do very much. Uh, but that made four hundred dollars in, you know, it must be like six weeks. It made that, uh, and I wasn't really pushing this. You know, I wasn't really trying to, you know, uh, market this very heavily. I did a video about it, but really, it's just people emailed me and said, "Hey, Martin, is your source code still for sale?" Uh, I said, "Yeah, here's here's the details. You know, here's the price. Please let me know if you're interested, and you know, I'll send you the download." Um, but the beauty of that situation, guys, was that it was. It was just me and the customer. You know, there was no like bridge in the middle. There was no road to travel. There was no point of like app store. You know, controlling things, uh, reviewing things, making sure that it's all okay. Uh, it was direct to the customer, which I really, really like. So I'm trying to figure out this year how to do more for developers, uh, because you know, developers like me always have things that we need. You know, that aren't available right now. Uh, there's lots of areas and lots of challenges like getting downloads, visibility, uh, cross-platform stuff that works on all you know iOS and Android and so on. Uh, so I'm thinking very like heavily about this this year. You know, selling source code as well could work, um, and it has worked a little bit. So maybe I need to push that more. You know, I mean, uh, selling uh, the Accelerate X source code and making four hundred dollars from that uh, without doing very much is is pretty good. You know, not that's not bad at all. So, um, you know, I've really got to really got to like figure this out and, 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 and spread the risk out. Just please spread the risk out. And I was just thinking about this as I was walking outside before. Uh, and it's something that's always on my mind. So if anyone has any ideas, you know, I, I'm, I'm very curious to know if you agree or disagree with me as well. Uh, do you have any ideas for 2014 of how to like spread your risk out or... You know, do you agree with me? Do you think that oh no no Apple's you know the, having that that bridge between you and the customer is a good thing or a bad thing or um, you know I want to know what you guys think anyway. Sorry, I'm a little bit tired still. Even though it's the afternoon, I'm still goddamn tired. Ah, I don't wake up. I've got to go driving soon. Um, but um, you know, anyway, guys, please you know be safe. Spread that risk. Take care of your your games, your accounts. Don't just rely on one area. Um, whether it be games or apps or one business model, don't just rely on one business model either. You know, spread that risk right out, or it could just be game over with like a single click, like it was for this guy. So, uh, anyway, guys, please uh, leave a comment below. Please hit that subscribe button, that like button. Always supports. If you do download any of the games, uh, please give a star rating. Uh, and if anyone is interested in the Accelerate X source code, um, that's still available and it's still doing well. So, and that's a hundred dollars at the moment for that source code. Uh, so please let me know if you're interested. You can drop me an email on martin at cobbleplay.com or you can leave me a comment here and I'll catch up with you guys. Uh, anyway, have an awesome week, everyone. I'm going to speak to you all soon, okay? Bye-bye.